write this decimal number in scientific notation. Let's do it. So we need to look as far to the left as we can, which I guess from here we're actually going to have to look to the right. 2 is the number farthest to the left that is not 0. Because that's the number that we need it to be the first number in our scientific notation. So it should be 2 point something. Any numbers that come after it are good. And that's just the 4 and 5. We're going to multiply this by base 10. And just based on the number of times we move the decimal, we'll determine uh, the exponent of 10. So let's look. This is where it goes between the 2 and the 4. This is where it is. So how many times did it move? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times. And since this number is less than 1, we would make the exponent negative. Now, again, we could check this. Not that everyone will on the test, though I wish you guys would. Since that's a negative, we would move the decimal to the left 6 from here. And we should get the same number just in checking, though. But this is our actual answer.